What's going on people? Before we begin today's episode, it's only right we address a few videos that were leaked. Demi Ari, just letting everyone know, on May 5th I'll be playing for Charlie Dukes' team, playing against the SE Dons, we're going to absolutely smash them to bits. Yes people, Darren Brent here, May the 5th I'll be playing for Charlie Dukes' team against the SE Dons. Them boys think they're the boys on YouTube, giving it a large one, but let me tell you, when the Spurs boys get together, the old Spurs boys get together, we're going to run rings around them, so make sure you know it's going to be a big one. So May the 5th, make sure you come down and watch us absolutely smash the SE Dons. You're probably thinking, why is Jamie O'Hara and Darren Bent talking about they're going to smash the Dons? Well, let me explain. We're nothing but a Sunday League football club. And now we've got a date with the Premier League. <laughs> On Sunday, May the 5th, SE Dons are travelling up to Bishop Stalford FC to play against the Premier League All-Stars for a fantastic cause in Charlie Duke's fund. However, I must make it very clear, this is not a friendly. Some of you might have seen it posted on Son's Instagram story. I'll be honest, this is a massive opportunity for SC Dons. We started this club in the back room, me, RP7 and Mr. Old School, in the back room of my old house. And if you would have told us we're going to be playing against Premier League All-Stars in the next eight, nine years, because I think everything's possible, I might have believed you. But that still doesn't take away the fact this is massive. I'll be honest, tickets are going fast. The ticket link is in the description of this video. It's also in Dukesy's Instagram bio. So head over there and grab yours. We're calling all the SC Dons family. Please come out and let's show how big our community really is. Hopefully we'll see you there Sunday the 5th of May, 1pm at Bishop Stalford. Now lastly, before we get into the episode, remember there was no game last Sunday. But the Dons always give you football content, so instead we've had to move the fives across. This is SC Dons versus UTR in a very important game at Goals Bixley Heath. Guys, sit back, enjoy the episode, and we'll see you on the 5th of May. Typhoon. Typhoon's back. I know, where, where have you been? Uh, you know what we call it? It's the Dons vs. UTR, the return of Typhoon. <laughs> yeah, he's back from. What happened when we first met you, Phil? You got ball in the seat. What? 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 You got that? What? <laughs> I'm joking. That was your butt, man. Triple F. What are you saying? Good, Jay Chris. Yeah? How are you feeling about today? Good, mate. We're good. We're going to win. Hi, <laughs> Kenny. What are you doing? Hi, Kenny. What are you doing? Hold on. you need? You're doing that. He's lurking around. Look, look. He's there as well. Look, lurking. Yes, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You've um, what the Jones in front? Yeah, bro. When you when you pulled up, that means that it, it shit got real fans. Got clean up from shit. I said it's the original. Bro. You know what I mean, big game today, man. First game of the season, so Let's see how it goes, isn't it? Three points. So that's what we're looking for. Three points. Something like that, something like that. No injuries, no dinks, no scratches, nothing. Nah, all good, all good, all good. Yes, Chris, how you doing, man? You rolled in with bread? Nah, not today. No? Nah, not today. Bye bye, Noah. <laughs> Change you. How are you, brother? <laughs> But they've called you uh, I know I know the clubs the clubs here. <laughs> different saying, times, I know it's different times. No they've entries on me and Donny Jones, man. Yeah. Going through your history. Jules, I got an idea. Shot on shot. No, no, no. I'm gonna name a Barney. He went in. He went in. I know you're probably hit us every day, but I am your biggest fan. Oh. I think that you're always gonna shit that you keep us game. I can do that. Rolling the years back! Rolling the years back! But anyways, I hope you get this man. Hit me back, just to check which one of you two is fan. This is game. Yeah! Bunny Jones! Bunny 
Jones. Bro, man's trying to make it sound like it's a downgrade. Yeah, because you, this no, is no, what I am. No, it's not a downgrade, but you know what it is? The new school ballers don't get it. Okay, yeah, the new I, generation I hear don't get I hear that. it. It's a different kind of game, innit? Yeah, man, the new generation don't Fine. get it. They got Donny Jones wearing his pumas, though. Yeah, man. About time I put him on. I've had him in the, in the bloody. I've had him in a basket for six months. Trust me, man. See? <laughs> <laughs> you may know us if you're just your first time watching the fives, insert clip. Doc, I'm sorry. Man of peace. This one, boys. Um, it's a new season. It's our first game against UTR. They've got the number on us recently, innit? Um, just, just to top off on Saturday. Listen, it's a tough loss. And this is a, this is a bounce back. Come find me. Today, yeah. Uh, let's let's make sure we stay compact, stay together. Be hard to break down and be tough. All I would say is have that mindset nobody's gonna pass you today. Regardless of it being Noah, Junior, I don't care. Have that in your head that they're not scoring. Frankie, I need you to talk today. You need to start leading. Mm -hmm. Bradley, you need to start leading. For real bro. You, might, you guys are young players, but you've got to start gaining experience now. You've played in this team long enough. Now is your time to start leading. I've seen your players. They got. Ideally, they're going to try and go tight. They're going to look at us. They know what they're the team normally is. They're going to attack me and they're going to come at us. But that's fine. We back each other up on the fucking pitch. I am touching someone tonight. Yeah, I'll be honest that's with you. I'll, I'll be, I'll be I'm honest I'm with you. Like, there's, only so much, there's only so much I can do, yeah? Them and them yeah, are so fucking celebrating in the that's clubhouse that's, yeah. saying touch this team. They don't fucking know. They ain't got a clue what they're talking about. Why don't you love us? You lot be the ballers, we're going to show the f***ing heart of this football club. Mm -hmm. Hands in, man. Wait, well, I, I need to know how to play, bro. Don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to toast to you. Everyone that's watching this, everyone that's supporting the Dons, we're toasting to you. Thank you so much for your support. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, then what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of SE Don Sunday League Football with a twist. <laughs> hey Rich, come out the road so you get run over. As I said at the beginning, there was no game last Sunday, but we made a vow that every Sunday you get football content. So we've moved the fives across from Wednesday to today. For those of you who follow the fives content, you will know we just won the league. And today's game is the beginning of a fresh new campaign where we take on UTR. I'll be honest, the team is light at the moment. Lots of injuries. So Oz has called on the old school boys, Big G and Donny Jones. And Chris is backing them. The ref said to Chris, your team's light tonight. This was his response. Yes or no? Only Jones and Big G bring something different. So the duel commences. Two minutes, 23 seconds in. It's a bit slow pace at the moment. But as you know, with fives at the elite level, it's literally like a chess match. You just stand off. You wait for your moment to attack. And that's what we get at the moment. Brad Tastic holding off his man. Sees a little inch. That's all he ever needs. Strikes with his left. Keeper stays solid. UTR come forward and return fire. Good save from Triple F. Good, good save. Four minutes on the dashboard. I'll be honest. Donny Jones is on the pitch. He ain't gonna give you much flair, but he's gonna give you muscle. Noah, nothing personal. Bye bye Noah. Bye bye Noah. Have you ever heard a penguin sing a lullaby? But we're seven minutes in and it's nil nil. Noah wins it back. If you listen carefully, you'll hear it. Bye bye Noah. The boy Bradley on the sideline, a loyal UTR servant, uh, screaming to break the cameraman. Meanwhile, we nearly break their spirit as it's an early free kick that Oz takes. Donny Jones nearly slaps it top bins. 9.15, Noah collects it at the back for UTR, picks out 24. Tries to shift, gets off a shot. Triple F shows us why the ladies love him. Triple F. Approaching the 10th, Triple F feeds Oz. Knocks one inside to Donny Jones, that's a foul, gets his arm pulled back. It's going to be a free kick for the Dons, we've been watching KO5 do it relentlessly. Set piece specials can't be there tonight, Oz goes for it, it's a good attempt. It's a good save from the keeper to be fair, just stuck his ankle out there, that's a foul. Ref doesn't blow it, Brad keeps the ball alive. Just like I said, we're staying patient, there's nothing, there's no need to force anything at fives. Picks out Oz, turns, drives forward, he's got Fagan out to his left, but he goes for the shot. So as I said, we're a bit light today, we've only got one sub, the boy Big G. UTR making a double substitution on coming, Brad and Harvey, good players. Anyway, it's Brad Tastic looking like a real teenage dirtbag, hat backwards. Outside of the boot over to Oz, great touch into Fagan, lets it fly, it's another big save from the keeper. Can we go for their throats? 12.47 on Bernard's watch, Brad Tastic holding it at the back. 
into Fagan. I think we've been a better side. I think we're dominating possession. We've got to try and get something out of it. Donny Jones holds it, knocks it over to Brad, steps inside and finds Oz. Holds off his man, picks out Fagan. He's going to let it fly again. And I tell you what, it's another good save from the keeper. 13-25, Donny Jones, man of the people. He loves the family, he loves the punters, so he puts his knee on the ball for him. He promised he'd do it every time he steps out. Comes to Fagan, rushing, nothing. Like I said, a Rolls Royce, they don't speed, they just cruise, taking his time. Uh, picks out Oz eventually, he gets pulled back. That's going to be a free kick. The Dons are always honest with the family. Chris was struggling with a little bit of diarrhea, so he had to go and do a poo. I Meaning he missed the free kick. Brad Tastic almost comes close there. 16 11, still nil nil. I have to be honest, they don't rate Donny Jones. They think he's rubbish. They might be right, but they're giving him a lot of time and space because they can't be bothered to mark him. They don't think he's a threat. He gets out of his feet here, I tell you what. I've seen Gerard shoot like that. I've seen Gattuso do this. Looking to me like the refs called it early, but it's going to be nil nil at half time. Take more time on the ball to the point where you frustrate them. Yeah. Literally, even if no one's on you, just stand on it. You saw it on Saturday, just stand on the ball. Like, be so ruthless. Don't unforced errors. I know we want to we want to score, but the goal will come. Just be patient. Another thing, when we are creeping as a, as a team, one of them is, 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 is um, shadowing the pin into me. Yeah. So either using the ball, Fagan and Donny, if you guys just run, one of you is going to go in because one of them is cheating. They're, they're, they're marking here. That's how both of you have got two. See when Donny waits and then he makes that run, they don't want to follow him. Yeah. So that works. They they keep doing they, it. They don't rate me. They so don't want to. Yeah, half the time not on me. Without being, being rude. Sorry about that one. I panicked because the ball's coming back fast. Right. Donny. You've done well, mate. You've done well. They don't want to follow you. They, yeah, they, no, they, they no, want you to have the ball. Yeah, but get a point. You think you're shooting and yeah, then yeah, yeah, scores. Just do it. Listen, let's make sure we Let's make sure we honest about one thing. We do not concede. Our shape has been perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just boys, please have this in mind. When you have the ball, please take your time. Yeah. To the point where you so frustrate them. Just hold, just stay on it. Donny George, they, they, don't, don't, want to say. they don't want to press. And like you said, they're narrow. Yeah, yeah. Get wide. I'll tell you what, you're doing well, man. The shape is absolutely fantastic nice, good, out good. there, man. Let's go Come on, boys. Let's go get a break for him and we can shut up shop. Ready? Three, two, one. Two. Two. Big reminder, Sunday, May the 5th. 1 p.m. kickoff. The Dons are coming to Bishop Stalford against the Premier League All Stars. Don't believe me? Check Son's Instagram. Also, on that day, we will be wearing the SC Dons Ironside kit. If you haven't got yours, grab it now. Bring it. Wear it to the game. Let's come out with the Don Army. SCDons.com Ironside jerseys available. Valhalla's Galactico. Everything is available. But on that specific day, we're going to be wearing our Ironsides. So grab your shirt. And hopefully we see you then. So the second half begins and I kind of get deja vu. Because I was driving through Maidstone last Thursday. And I saw a kid with his hat backwards running away from police. It looked like Brad Tastic. So finally the deadlock is broken, 1-0 to the Dons, Dirtbag giving us that little bit of magic that we've been waiting for, Oz holding the ball, gets pushed off of it, and Donny Jones has a few words with the ref. Come, come. It's horrible, it, so more from the Dons, Oz Luftata, Luftata means warrior in Albanian, it looks like that's what we're going to call him now, he gets another foul off the ball, um, free kick to the Dons. More experience paid from the Dons now, just keeping it at the back, moving it around, staying patient, tempting fouls. We get another one, another free kick. So 26 minutes in, uh, it's real good defensive behaviour at the moment from the Dons, as you can see. We call this the Don Wall. Very hard to break down, we just shuffle across, stay in our shape. To be fair, all they can really do in a situation like this is wait for an opportunity to shoot from range. To be fair to UTR, they're staying patient, they're just moving it side to side, that's what you've got to do in situations like this. It comes to 44, uh, cuts it across again, the Dons, like I said, staying, staying, uh, what's the word, disciplined. Comes to Noah, 
One one left back in it. I will play Scotty in goal if I have to, I swear to God, I have nothing to lose here, boy. Don't be the one that doesn't give me a reaction, boy. So, UTR back in the game, it's going to be a big 13 minutes. On comes the skipper for Donny Jones. Boys, hands to yourself, boys. So the skipper, Big G, already making his presence felt. You know, he can bring dark hearts, that's all he does. Holds it off, wins a free kick, good play. 28-30, F rolls it into Big G, baggy touch. Good footwork there from number 44 as he drives away, cuts back. Big G lets him know he's close. Number 20 of Junior, sorry, collects it, slaps it with his left. Comes to Brad, he's going to win a free kick. 12 to go. 29-37, big last 10 now for both teams. Uh, Triple F tries to find Oz, couldn't quite get there. Then he sees this one late, gets his fingers to it. More from UTR now, they've come out this second half, enjoying a bit of the possession, but the Dons, like I said, staying very disciplined, making it tough for him. 44 shifts onto his weaker foot, save from Triple F. Big G, six foot six in Ugandan. He ain't the full lunchbox. Some people describe him as just a goalkeeper. We'll explain this. Oh, it's just a goal. So 32 minutes in is 2-1 to SC Dons. Skipper on the score sheet. It feels familiar. 44 trying to line up Fagan. Triple F says Porridge ain't ready yet. 32-36. Big G. Reliable with it. Knocks it back to Fagan. Someone said to me, what would Paul Gasgoyne look like if he was born in Maidstone? I showed him Brad Tastic. I went to Cancun recently with the boys. At the luggage pickup, when Ozzy's bag came, there was dents in it. He made a complaint. And we got shown CCTV of the workers pulling his bag off of the plane. The guy wasn't gentle, he threw it between his legs, it landed on the floor. Kinda like this. Hey! I don't give a shit. Touch this team! 36-20, still 3-1 to the Dons, about five left to go. In fives, that's actually more than enough time to get back in the game, so we still got work to be done. Dirtbag just doing dirtbag stuff. 37-30, game almost done. Just got to make sure we don't make no mistakes and get the three points and move on to next week. Uh, Triple F fires it back to Brad Tastic. They can't get it off him, man. It's another foul. Ozzy, not enough players today. Don't worry, me and G will step in. Not enough players, G. Don't worry, we'll step in. 38, two minutes left to go. Free kick for the Dons. Big G can't hold it, but look at the reaction. It does the dirty stuff. Gives it to the better players. Oz collects, fires it. Good little block there from Junior. Fagan comes across the Rolls Royce. He's not going to panic. He's got two players around him, no problem. Good little bit of footwork. Oz Ten Hag slaps it off both posts. Could be a counter break here from UTR, but oh no. Big G comes across with the beans. Slaps that on toast. <laughs> so, 40 minutes done. We're now into stoppage time. 3-1 to the Don still. Again, like I said, no mistakes. It'll be a great three points. It's been a great shift from the fellas. A full 40 minutes they've all played apart from me and obviously Big G. So they're definitely tiring now, but managing to keep their shape well. Big G comes across to just jockey it behind Noah. Eden manages to pick out Junior, gets off a shot. It's a great save from Triple F. I let the truth be known. Oz has found love. You're probably asking me, what does that mean? The harsh reality it is. We might never see Oz in Cancun again. So for one last rodeo, DJ, run that. Yeah. 
So with a full time whistle about to go, it is gonna end SC Don's 4 UTR 1. I gotta give credit to all the boys. A full 40 minute shift from Brad Tastic, Fagan, Oz, and obviously Triple F. The old seniors, Big G and Donnie Jones, doing a job for the badge. I think it was a great performance and it deserved three points. As you know, it's the first game of the campaign, so there's no point checking the league table. We'll move that on to next week. I want to quickly apologise because there's been no fives up on a Wednesday the past few weeks, but we are back to normal now. So, yeah, thank you for your patience. Remember, everything is possible when you work hard and believe. And that's why SC Dons will be playing against the Premier League All-Stars on Sunday, the 5th of May. The ticket link is in the description. We want all your support. Let's get the Dons behind us, man. Remember, the Ironside jerseys are what we'll be wearing. So head over to scdons.com. Get your Ironside shirt. Get your Dons merch. Send them pictures of you wearing it. Become Don of the Week. And I just want to thank the Dons family anyway for supporting us, man. We really have built up a family and a community across the world. Sometimes I forget how big that is. So I just want to thank you all for your support. We've got a long way to go. We've got massive plans. Stick with us. Uh, next week, next episode will be the London Cup semi-final. So we'll know this time next week whether we're in the final and it will be another big day out for the family. Anyway, let me stop ranting. Thank you for enjoying the episode. Like the episode. We want 5,000 likes. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon. I heard you talking before the game. Any song? I heard you talking before the any, game. Any, any song request for the DJ? <laughs> None, bro. Any, any song request for the DJ? None, thank you. Why not? Because it's the first game of the season. So you don't want no music? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that first half was the best five football I've ever seen. Like seriously, because it was a game of chess. We know about chess, Aussie, right? Honestly, like I was impressed today. Like it, it, honestly, thank you very much. Guys, really. That's what you call heart, man. Donny Jones and George came in today, stepped in. We were, we were short, and we, we've got, we got, we got, we got the win against our rivals. Four one. Didn't fucking get the win. You fucking smoked them, mate. You Wait, that's that's what you call. That's what you call. That's what you call using this, Bradley. That was good today, bro. Yeah. That was that was leadership. Yeah, well you didn't Trust stop talking me, wait, the whole good. game. Everyone. It was everyone, but yeah. well done, Frankie as well. Wait, Frankie, you've done man, well, yes. Yeah. Playing, really up, stepped up. playing above their years, man. But um, when you're George, good enough, you're old funny. enough, man. Mate, and then man proved it. Don't wait, underestimate listen, the Dons, man. Listen, that's what, listen, boys. That's what this shit is, man. Me and G, we just we're here to support you lot for whenever. We'll always put our boots on for you lot and for the badge. But that's what it's about: enjoying yourself, mentality. I'll be honest, even if we would have lost today, I would have loved playing with you lot. I'm just happy to be on the pitch. Yeah, but that's mentality, man. And that's why we smoke these kind of people, bro. So big win and good bounce back. We, 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 we showed them something today. Trust me. Hey, well done. Well done, everyone. Well done. Well done. Let's go. Hey. Three, two, one, go. They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything. They know, they know. They know, they know.